We gotta check your pumpkin. Yeah. Let's see if it's bigger than my head. Yeah, let's see if it's bigger. Is it bigger? Yeah. My head is small. Is it time for picking time? No, nope, not picking time yet. It's supposed to get really big. Look at this one over here. You see that one in front of Martha? Yeah. It's almost as big as this one. It's growing faster. Let's see, there's one over here too. Oh, that one's shriveling up on me. I thought it was gonna do it. I could kind of tell the other day that it was feeling a little soft. It was bigger than that one. And now it's, you know, it's soft and shrivelly. Soft and shrivelly. Yeah. Let's see, let's check these. These two are still looking pretty good, feeling nice and firm and everything. That's the bell pepper plant. Let's check our habanero peppers. We got any orange? No, but look. Something's been trying to eat that one. Let me see. I mean, what animal likes these? <laughs> Something does, don't they, Manny? I think Ooh, we got bears. a lot of peppers ready. Mine? You think it's bears? Yeah, I think it's bears. You want to help me pick some peppers? Which one's big? This one's big. It's ready. Okay. Where is it? Is it this one? That's it. Let's go for a yellow tree. You got it. Okay. Now we can make supper. <laughs> <laughs> supper pear pot. Mama, I think this one's ready for picking. Uh, that one's got just a little bit longer, I think. Yeah, that pumpkin is like a really mushy. Mm-hmm. Let's check the okra. Whoa, that thing could be bigger. Mm-hmm. Oh, we gotta go on the back porch because I left the eggs back there. Oh. Any guesses on what we're about to make? A cinnamon coffee cake. Okay, we're gonna start with the topping first. I'm gonna grab an apron. I'm really feeling the urge to decorate for fall today, y'all. So for the topping, we need one cup of packed brown sugar. We'll go ahead and put that up because that's all we need the brown sugar for. Now we're gonna put in one cup of flour, a teaspoon of cinnamon, we're gonna make that again in a minute, so I'll just sit it over to the side. And half a cup of softened butter. So we just mix this until it's really crumbly. We're gonna sit it over to the side and make the cinnamon layer. Okay, for the cinnamon layer, we need a quarter cup of sugar tablespoon of flour and half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And that's it for the cinnamon layer. If y'all hear banging in the background, that's uh, Titus and Tyler. And I think Donna's helping them too every now and then, adding on to the chicken coop out there. And they have the sauce set up right outside the back porch too. So you'll probably hear that from time to time. Okay, we'll set this over here with the topping. And now we make the batter. We're gonna put in one cup of softened butter, four eggs, one cup of sour cream. Popsicle? Yeah. Alright, now we're just going to get a 9 by 13 casserole dish or cake pan. Now 
Now we're gonna put down half of the batter. I think Manly's about to fall asleep over there. I got that autumn jazz playing. Now we're gonna put the cinnamon layer. to the batter. And the topping. That's it. This is going to go in the oven at 350 for 55 minutes to an hour. I'll start checking it at about 45 minutes. We are about to do some planning for the week. School starts back on Thursday. Summer vacation is quickly coming to a close. I also need to finish up my meal plan for the week. First day of school. Sleeping, I guess. Alright y'all, we still have about 20 minutes left on the coffee cake. I'm going to go ahead and get supper made real quick. Tonight we're having the sausage and pepper hoagies. And I'm going to make some Italian ones. So I've already got the sausage started. Getting the onion ready here. And we're going to use these peppers that we had left over from the patty melts, western, uh, cowboy melts, that's what we called them. We're going to use these instead of bell pepper tonight. And these are not hot. So I usually cook these on the blackstone. But the mosquitoes today, mm -mm. they are fierce out there. So y'all seen us do the sausage and pepper ones a lot. We just use onions, peppers, and sausage. For the Italian ones, I'm gonna use, uh, I'm gonna use some of these peppers and onions too. And I have pepperoni, pepper jack cheese, some sun-dried tomatoes, and I think I'm gonna slice one of our garden tomatoes.
okay y'all just as we suspected the chickens they don't want to go in their new coop i knew that they would do this because they're just you know they get used to how things are and then if you change it up on them they're like what i'm also suited up in armor so as not to be attacked by mosquitoes coming out here to help tyler he's gonna see if we can get them in with the feed here i'll hold the light for you they're all trying to go into the old little coop over there <laughs> we're just gonna have to catch them <laughs> Chicky, chicky, chicky. They still have a few things to finish. I knew they would do this. You know what we should have done is put that little coop in here before it got dark. And they might have then, they might have, you know, would have, you know. You know what I'm saying? Here, yeah, chicky, chick, chick. Call them, Roosty. Tell them to come on. Here comes Miss Turkey. Tyler's trying to get her to come over here without having to pick her up. All right, everybody's in. They love it. They absolutely love it. 